And it's not what you want to see during a fireworks show, but we're learning a rogue firework started a fire on the roof of PNC Park last night. And tonight we have more on the heroic efforts made by a man who used what he could get his hands on to put it out. Our Lauren Linder has the story. Families came here to PNC Park Saturday night to watch the Pirates game and a big fireworks show. A guy on a boat didn't just catch the fireworks, but an actual fire on the roof of the stadium. Now he's calling a quick thinking technician a hero. We noticed that there was a fire on the roof of PNC Park. A sight to see for Ed Nuttall. Bright orange flames shining from the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. It was pretty wild. It all started after Saturday night's game ended and the fireworks went off. Not just any show, but Zambelli's Sky Blast fireworks extravaganza. Ed came from Castle Shannon to watch the colors light up the sky from a boat on the water. It was done. Everything was all, all done. Just kind of waiting for boats to move so we could leave. Seconds later, he couldn't believe what he saw. Next thing you know, we see a guy running across the roof. That's when he took out his phone and started recording. He's going to need more than that freaking towel. But the man wasn't using a towel. All he had was the shirt on his back. And in the video, you see the man take his shirt off and use it to attack the flames. First thought, thought is that that T-shirt's not going to be enough to put a fire out. <laughs> you know, but he did. Somehow he, he managed to do it. Eventually, others came to help the guy clean up definitely uh, he saved the day for them for sure. Though Ed credits this man for preventing the fire from getting out of hand. They owe this guy a raise. <laughs> he, he, he went above and beyond. A spokesperson for the Pirates confirms the incident to KDKA, saying one of the technicians took quick action to stamp out the flame with his shirt in the few seconds that it took to get a fire extinguisher to fully put out the small flame. They also say at no point in time were the fans nor employees in danger. We work with the fire marshal to ensure our shows are safe for fans to enjoy. As for Ed, if he ever meets this mystery man, he can tell him he has a job waiting for him. A friend of mine's a uh, Whitehall uh, firefighter and he said sign him up right away. <laughs> Well, no word on whether any repairs will need to be done. I reached out to Zambelli Fireworks, who put on the show for comment, but have not heard back at this time. I also reached out to the local union representing electrical workers, but also have yet to hear back. For now, reporting on the North Shore, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.